If you're experiencing low libido, depression, anxiety, brain fog, low motivation, then you most likely have low testosterone. But don't worry, I will explain how you can fix that naturally. What's up, Alex here from Natural Testosterone. In this video, I'll be explaining how you can boost your testosterone levels faster, and yes, naturally. Before I get into that, what is testosterone? Testosterone is the principal male sex hormone. It's produced in the latex cells in your testes and some of it is produced in your adrenal glands. Alex, but what are hormones? The hormones are chemical messengers secreted into your blood, which are then carried into your organs and things like that to initiate a response. There's so many hormones in our body and they all have a different purpose. For example, testosterone is an androgen. Androgens are the group of hormones that give males their male characteristics. Another androgen would be DHT, dihydrotestosterone, which is a much more powerful version of testosterone, which cannot be converted into estrogen. Estrogen acts immediately on the surrounding cells independent of the fact that receptors are available or not has been shown in scientific literature to hinder the body's ability to detox itself. Most notably, it inhibits the optimal functioning of the liver. Why is testosterone so important? Testosterone is the fundamental factor for the admirable manly traits that are portrayed by men. For instance, like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible, think calm and collected, assertive, focused, creative, structured, smart, responsible, protective, and respected. However, over the past couple of decades, the media, and some research even, has tried to portray high testosterone males as aggressive, dominant, rebellious, troublemakers, bullies, selfish. Linking these behaviors to psychopaths, serial killers, inmates, and so on. However, this is very false picture of high testosterone. But unfortunately, the way society is heading, a lot of men will never experience these benefits. And it's sad to see a man not accomplish his full potential. That's why you should drop a like on this video to help the YouTube algorithm and get this video to more men out there. Okay, Alex, I get it. I have low testosterone. How can I increase it? How can I finally feel like a man and reclaim my testosterone levels na naturally? The answer is using the NTLS method. Thanks for watching. Peace. No, I'm just joking. So the NTLS method stands for nutrition, training, lifestyle and intelligence supplementation. And I always talk about this. First of all, nutrition. You need to make sure your macronutrients, so your fats, protein and carbs are in the right ratios depending on your sit current situation. How much body fat do you have? How much muscle do you have? Uh, what's your daily expenditure? There's a lot of factors that in come into play when it comes to choosing the right macros for you. Next thing is like your calories. So making sure you're consuming enough calories per day. You're not under eating, you're not overeating. Then when it comes to the actual nutrition aspect, aspect you wanna be consuming foods that are easily digestible by your body. If you're consuming foods and you're having these protein farts, that's not a good thing. Everyone likes to think that that's a positive aspect. Oh, I'm consuming protein. No, it's not. It just means that the food that you're consuming is not being digested properly. So you need to fix that. You need to change the foods that you're consuming. So the next thing, your training. So I like to go off the FIT principle, F-I-T-T. -T. If you're a personal trainer or someone like that, you probably know what that means. But frequency, making sure you're training frequently, especially when you're a natural. You want to be training frequently because when you train, protein, protein synthesis spikes from anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. You can't be training a muscle group once a week and see optimal results because you need frequency. Then second of all, intensity you need to go to the gym and hit it hard there's no point doing like i see all these people going to the gym they do like 20 different exercises and they still have energy afterwards no just focus on like three to five exercises 
and that's enough and just focus on a weekly basis on progressive overload that's another thing then type of training strength training and time like how long are you in the gym your rest periods things like that and like i said progressive overload hitting strength standards when you're actually training you want to activate as much muscle possible in the shortest period of time while staying under your stress threshold it's different for everyone than lifestyle making sure your sleep stress sun step sex smoking is optimized you're sleeping 89 hours you're doing the right things before you go to sleep you're eating the right foods when you wake up you consume right foods because you're asleep for eight to nine hours so you need to rehydrate yourself and things like that you can't be waking up and drinking coffee that's just um a road to not success basically managing your stress light sun exposure it's so important not just vitamin d there's more benefits to sunlight than just vitamin d than sex masturbation smoking alcohol then lastly supplementation everyone's favorite topic everyone likes to take the supplement because it's a quick fix all these testosterone boosters all these something boosters it always leads to a wrong path because all these marketing hypes it up you end up taking the supplement and you some clients i've heard that even felt worse after a testosterone booster because if you're estrogen dominant and you're taking testosterone boosters all that testosterone is getting converted and you're just going to feel even worse you're going to feel weird and things like that so you need to make sure you're in an optimal state to be taking these things they are they help winners win more that's a good way to go about it if you're optimal some testosterone boosters are good the reason why you have low testosterone is not because you're not taking that supplement it's because you're doing something right now that's stopping you from achieving that okay and when it comes to supplement you need to correct your micronutrient deficiencies so get a micronutrient hair analysis blood test and see what you're deficient in everyone has a baseline of things that they need to hit for their body to work at its peak so when you fix these deficiencies you're going to feel so much better and then next thing is using things like adaptogenic herbs to get you to the next level lower your stress things like that and then using fun things like nootropics so if you're into like brain performance and you're working on like you need to be very focused so using nootropics is very beneficial i use them myself like piracetam uh, caffeine nicotine nicotine is good if you know how to use it and you get it from the right source and but i wouldn't recommend using nootropics if you're in a bad state because nootropics use choline as its fuel and i'm pretty sure 90 percent of individuals are deficient in choline so if you're taking nootropics and you have no choline it's just gonna drive even more stress what if you tried all these things that i just mentioned because i bet a handful of you are probably in your head like i've tried this it didn't work he's talking shit it's not gonna work okay let me ask you this are you tracking your kpi kpis key performance indicators are you tracking your temperature your heart rate your body fat your strength standard on a weekly daily basis can i see your tracking sheet for the last four weeks half of you probably 90 percent of you or even more we're probably like oh i don't really know i just know that i'm eating enough and i'm eating the right foods that's not enough because what gets measured gets accomplished and then achieved right so you need to be tracking things you need to know what you're where you're at now you do things you input things into your lifestyle and you have to see if it makes a change so that's the first thing measure your progress then the second of second thing is you're taking part in self-sabotaging activities so you're still taking part in things that are lowering your testosterone you're consuming phytoestrogens you're consuming anti-nutrients you're doing things that mess with your stress and things like that so you need to fix that third of all you're lying to yourself you think that you're following all these guidelines but you're not and you probably have a victim mindset you think the world is out to get you no you create your own reality so mindset is a huge aspect of this so i hope this video helped 
Um, if you have any suggestions, leave a comment down below for any other videos. And make sure you follow me on Instagram because I answer a lot of questions, one-on-one -on -one things. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That was Alex and peace. See you next video.